on, chill out. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Now recently, the redesign of Decash has come out. And aside from it looking awfully green, it has had a couple issues. Now the most interesting one is this one, where I'm sure you've seen it before on Sparkle's video, but basically since the map is mostly custom, you can make a lot of the textures invisible. And it kind of works like a wall hack. Now with any luck, Valve knows about this and should be fixing this any time now. For all I know, by the time this video comes out, it might already be fixed. But really, this video isn't about the bugs on this map as much as how does this map feel and play with the new layout. And to figure that out, we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way and play it. And I'll tell you guys my thoughts as we make our way through the game. I knew that's what- uh, what is this? Uh -huh. This is a trash gun. Hey, 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 Dan, <laughs> Dan, 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 switch with me. Yeah. One quad. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Quad lit. Uh, like 12 damage. Flank, 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 flank. Two flank. Okay, I'm planning. So as you can see, a lot of the changes just look aesthetic right off the bat, but there are a couple things that are very different. Shit. Shit, bros. Get that ace, though. Oh, Sorry, nice boss. For one, the spacing has changed a bit, so certain areas are wider or more narrow than other areas, and you can be seen from different locations. Hey, Fawn, since you made so much no, money, can name. you loan me a pistol? Because it brings me better than that, bro. Holy insane. shit! Brings me disdain. You. Good job. White box. Now, most of the changes have been done to really help out the counter-terrorists, or at least that's what it seems like. Close. The window, I forgot about the window. It seems like there's a lot of positions they can be in where they have cover or a new vantage point. There's a scoot in the mid. Okay, there's a down. one down, eh? All right, boys, Flashing A's over down. mid. Why does everyone smoke. have these awful guns? Do you have a smoke? Yes, sir. I don't know what you want me to smoke. Okay, that not that. Not It's gonna be highway. Up top. Up. Oh shit! What the hell kind of smoke was that, reload. Dan? Oh god! Yeah. Was nice. You gotta reload. He has no idea. Okay. Ten seconds, boys. Here you can see the little hump on this tank kind of conceals his jump up, even though I heard it, and he peeks out on the left-hand side of it. Oh, oh nice so try. Close. Good try. From highway. Okay. He was white box. I'm, I'm gonna go. Really? Yeah. Good job, y'all. Now here's something pretty cool because the upper area over Cubby has been extended. You can decide to jump down here, check things out really quickly, and decide to go back up if you choose. This allows you to be just a little bit more dynamic. I'm gonna have flash money. One down mid. Come on. Truck. I'm planning in the open, nice job, just so yeah. you guys can... Window dead. One close. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 no. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, you, you killed him. Right oh, no! <laughs> okay, I know that was a little bit embarrassing, but it also shows another point. Having a rooftop over Cubby actually allows someone to hide there without having to worry about taking damage from above. Whereas on previous versions of Cash, I could just walk over there, aim down, and shoot the guy in the head. Nice. Nice. Oh. Window. Window. Oh. Window. Oh. Window. Oh. Window. That. Still there. There you go. Wow. Nice. Jeez, dude. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Uh, time. Yep. Boost on my head, over here. On the truck? Yeah. Jumping on the truck now does not seem to be as effective as it once was. If you try to go over to the right side, there's a wall that clips up at an angle, doesn't allow you to do stacks. On the left side, however, you can only really see the window, and usually people don't peek out this far. Where's that at, boys? That was mid. Dead. Dead. I hit him one. I got him. Forklift is down at A, I'm gonna smoke up. Tactically what? planned, it was all tactical just to get you more kills with the eye. Do you see what Last I'm gonna... So basically now when you're clearing out mid, there is really five locations you need to worry about. One is cubby, white box, window, connector, behind sandbag. Oh, and I forgot vent, which now can fit two people in it, so that's six spots. 
I got him! Now it looks like the mid spam still works as it used to because Fawn was able to do it no problem here. Now the B site seems far less changed with the exception of checkers. Whoa, get me up there. Checkers, however, has a lot more levels where you can get on the box, you can get on the vent, and you can get on top of the little box on top of the box. This should make positioning a bit more unpredictable and should make it harder for someone to peek out onto it. Got him. There you go. Okay. Hit him so much. Side down. Like, like one millisecond. And the uh, left side is easy. I think you should be boosted. Nice. One hit. Let's challenge that way. One down B. Oh, one more B. Oh, here you can really see how wide that vent is now. Technically, you could have two people rush it side by side if they wanted. Three bullets. Nice! Uh, oh my god. You just got CS code, huh? That's another boy. He's coming up, he's coming! You got it, you're right there! Okay, there's another guy, you got another guy. Right over there, right there. I don't know where he's at. The Very bomb's down in front of you, bomb's down in front of you. Um, was that corner always that deep? Be main, be main. Oh shit, it's over. I think I got him. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the CT side. What the hell was that? One towards B. What the hell there is B, this bomb game? down B. Checkers. And once again, the biggest difference is definitely the spacing. A lot of areas just seem like they're farther apart or things have been more spread out. Hey, let the carrying begin. That one looks a lot better. Is that a okay? Oh. Yeah, there's I'll two there. I'm mad about it. One in middle. It's smoked middle. He's in middle. Middle. One. One. One checker. Two going towards B. Oh my god. Now one of the things I do want to talk about in this video is retaking the A site. In all honesty, it has been made quite a bit easier. Like I said before, they have widened the site a little bit, which allows you to be able to see stuff from over by truck, and also there's boxes scattered around that you can use to hide behind and peek out from. Just a hop in. I don't have one. And rifling is just too easy. Best rifler in the world? Whoa, man, hold on, chill out. Jesus, See? I had him distracted. Okay. There you go. Now I can't go through this video without mentioning the big double tire by T-Spawn. I imagine it'll actually be a pretty decent spot to save your gun because you can actually look down at the ground and people won't see you there. Though with the exception of holding for a super aggressive push from the CTs, I can't see it being used for much else. The ball is oh, coming, coming B. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now remember when I mentioned checkers earlier? Here's an example. Here you can get on the little vent on the left hand side and hold from there or on top of either of the boxes. That not only gives you a level advantage, but if you drop a smoke, it can be used as a one-way. And the biggest difference from the older version is that you can self-boost it. I, I give up. Him. That is if you're not me. Now as for heaven, for the most part, I have to say it looks pretty much the same. But I've noticed when people are peeking, it feels like they're peeking from a slightly different spot, so I think it's been stretched out as well. One more. Nice, dude. We got we did it, it, boys. Now, I know that game is over, but I'm not done talking about this map just yet. Here is mid. I think they're out mid. Two out mid. Now, the mid window works as a really nice counter to smokes, which I imagine can be pretty effective if used at the right time. But what I found really cool is this truck allows you to actually peek into the A site. That's interesting. Plus this box on the left side can provide cover during a retake when someone's over by forklift or an A main. Alright, defuse. Not only that, if you stand on that box, you can actually watch A main and have that big tank covering up the rest of your body with the exception of your head. It makes for a pretty powerful position. For yeah, he's out. Overall, I can understand why this map has been redesigned in the way it has been. Since this map's inception in Counter-Strike Source, I've heard people talking about how it was too terrorist-sided. But in my honest opinion, it's always kind of been one of the more balanced maps. I mean, not quite as balanced as Dust 2, but still pretty up there. But I guess the real question is, did they even need to do a redesign on this map? The answer to that is probably no, but do I like the redesign? Yeah, I actually do.
The window is probably going to be the most difficult thing for me to deal with and probably the thing I like least about this version of this map. The other new additions just make it feel more dynamic and not just like you're going to get shot from random angles. One of the things I think is bad map design is situations where you have to either check the right side or the left side and you don't know which side they're going to be on but you're at a disadvantage regardless depending on if you choose the wrong side. Here it still feels like you can take your angles one by one and clear everything out. Now with the exception of fixing the bugs where people can have invisible boxes and stuff, one of the things I hope this map doesn't end up going through is what Vertigo is going through. You know, constant changes and redesigns. A map is never going to be absolutely perfect, well, except for Dust 2, but this one follows a lot of really good design philosophy. They've added some complexity to it without making it overly complicated. Let's see how it goes. So as for my final thoughts on this video, I'm gonna have to say it's a good map with some terrible color choices. It's also got some crazy game-breaking bugs which allow you to see through boxes. But if they can iron that out, a look past all the green and actually say this is a pretty solid map Got good job anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and as always have a great day